Darcy Steyer? Yeah, he's a, he's a really good horse, isn't he? He's been, um, you know, a, a real soldier. Obviously ran so well in the Caulfield and Melbourne Cups last year. Can he give these up-and-comers weight and beat them? Well, he's in the mix from out him fourth. Seven horses brass have won this, then the Melbourne Cup in the same year, but not since Rogan Josh. It was the most recent in 1999. Yeah, well, it's a different landscape these days. Uh, in those days, Rogan Josh, um, you know, he was a local horse, but very few imports came over. But, um, yeah, the imported horses have changed the whole complexion of the Melbourne Cup these days. Last year this race is taken out by Chapata beating Zabrowski and Platinum Invader. The Chosen One actually won it two years ago beating Prince of Aaron and Sully and Yucatan won it in 2018 beating Brimham Rocks and Prince of Aaron is the Herbert Power with Matt. Rostropovich sporting a white cap Craig Newitt on Rostropovich and they're ready for the Herbert Power set racing Delphi away cleanly. Beret took a skip and missed it over on the far side. Defibrillates back with him. Delphi's up there early with future score. Actal, here's some from the deep. Turidan coming over with also Rostropovich and Mirage Dancer. So they charge past the empty grandstand and it's Turidan leading from out wider on the track. We've got Rostropovich, Mirage Dancer between them and then came Kalorni in fourth place followed by Actal, Delphi. Beret next followed by future score. Two lengths, Hustle Award, Defibrillate, the chosen one last to the side. So with 1,700 metres to run, Turidan led, crossed over and led three quarters of a length to Rostropovich. Kalorni box seats third on the inside of Mirage Dancer. Then came the short price favourite, Delphi, with the yellow cap on the outside of Actau. A length and a quarter away, future score, Berade, Hustle Award, Defibrillate, the chosen one is last. They slow it up as they ascend the hill. 1,400 to go, Turidan led from Rostropovich. Kalorni third. Third, fourth Mirage Dancer. A length and a half Delphi, the favourites four off the lead. Then came along the inside Actau, a length future score, Berade Hustle of War. Second last to Fibrillate, the chosen one last, and they've reached halfway in the Herbert Power. With 1,200 a run, Turidan's controlling this by a half length, Rostropovich. Kalorni third just awaits a little bit of luck in the final half of the race. Fourth the outside Mirage Dancer, and they were followed by Delphi, who sits outside of Actau. There's been no change. Then came Future Score, who's one off the fence, followed by Berade on the paint. Hastel of War, Defibrillate, and the Chosen One. 800 metres to run. It's Turidan, just the leader. At the 750 from Rostropovich, then Kalorni. Now Delphi's about to get going, and that flushes out Mirage Dancer. So Delphi's four wide and takes the lead at the 600 metres. Delphi lets stride, goes to the front from Turidan and Mirage Dancer, then Hastel of War. Future Score Backs away outside of Kalorni from the chosen one, then Berade. But Delphi left in front a long way from home, but clears out about three lengths in front of Mirage Dancer. Then Turidan, Hustle of War, the chosen one to the middle. Delphi at the 200 metres, led by two lengths, Mirage Dancer. The chosen one, Hustle of War. Delphi Oliver takes a peek over the shoulder at the 100. He still leads by a length and three quarters, and Delphi's going to do it. Delphi wins by a length, the chosen one, Hustle of War, and defibrillate through for fourth. Then came Mirage Dancer, Berade, Turidan, Future Score, Kalorni, a long gap, Actau, and at the tail of the field was Rostropovich. So Delphi wins and on to the Caulfield Cup now, and it levels up across the three totes at $2. Were you impressed a week out from the Caulfield Cup with its win in the Herbert Power? Well, as we heard Matt say, he was left in front of Fairway Out, but um, very strong to the line, so a superior stayer. That's what you get with Galileo's. And the chosen one was very good in second. He was the one travelling really well at the 600 metres. He's, uh, he's holding form in great style. So it's 5 1 13, and 4 should be 4th. What did you make of Delphi's win there, Gutter? Yeah, I think Brass summed it up perfectly. He made an early move. You know, most horses can sustain a 600 run if they're a good solid endurance athlete. He certainly is that. He was holding them on the line, and we get a good line through the chosen one who ran so well in those big features last year. And that wraps up Caulfield Guineas Day, and my thanks to Matt Hill for terrific coverage across the Big Ten race card.